All right, Pomegranate in the Oak Tree was the last tune to get written for the record, and the only one that didn't really start out or have a kind of a previously existing seed from before the recording session. Um, like everything else had a little riff or something that had been kicked around for a good while, um, but not this tune. And uh, we kind of wrote it to kind of fill a vibe void that existed in all the other material, um, and that was for something that was just very steady, toneful, and kind of hangs in one zone for a little while. Like a lot of the music on this record changes keys quickly, um, kind of changes textures and vibes really quickly, but we wanted something that would kind of like stay, something a little more meditative, something that could kind of like stay put for a while. Um, and we kind of were kicking around the idea of just something like, almost like something like that you hear Bill Frizzell play or like um, Dog on like tone poems or something, just something that's all about you know, not, not trying to prove too much or nothing too fancy with the melody, but just something that kind of just revels in the tones of the instruments. You hear long notes kind of ringing out. And um, so, yeah, we basically kind of came up with this, this, um, this, this A part, this, which is kind of this very placid. there and um and then yeah and that just felt like enough you know it's something that we could kind of really just kind of hang on and kind of melt off of um and then because that stays still um we decided we need a quick little burst of something in the b part a kind of quick little burst of movement and paul coert the bassist in hocktail um had this little bit of uh, music that he had written on the piano that's kind of the sequence of chords that first starts out here. Then it basically does the same thing but down a whole step. And then it kind of deviates from that little bit of harmony that he had written. Um, just a minor. Um, and that's, bit, that's basically the two parts, really. And then at the end you hear, we thought that kind of major 7 D chord there um, led nicely into G minor. So we basically play the main riff that you heard at the beginning in D minor. Um, in the key of G. And then we go back, and it goes back to D. E flat chord, flat six of that G minor. And so on and so forth. Um, and really also, um, the original melody was in the key of G as well, um, which we changed at the very last minute um, at the 11th hour in the recording studio. Just so I, I can't remember why, but we just kind of messed around with a couple different things and just liked that key relationship better between the B part. Da, 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 da. Um, but you do hear at the very end that kind of very, it's like the ultimate That happens in G. So it just kind of creates a little more space and variety without adding too much more movement. Um, and that's pomegranate in the oak tree. Mm -hmm. 